What's going on guys, Moxification here, so today I'm going to show you how to set up the Xenon uh, files, the Xenon offline files that would be, so to start off, they are offline files, they're not server files, so they are free, uh, and it runs off your own internet connection, you know, you don't need to uh, connect to a server or anything, you know. Uh, the only problems that I've had with them are actually when I'm listening to music on YouTube and I connect to Xbox Live, sometimes it will actually just disconnect me randomly if I listen to stuff because it is using my own internet you know uh, so uh, yeah uh, and also when I'm freshly trying to connect to Xbox Live I might show you when uh, when we've got it set up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the Xenon um, the Xenon folder uh, there'll be a download in the description for you know anything you'll need uh, the KV will not be included uh, because it's my KV uh, but yeah, uh, so what you're going to get is hv.bin, launch.ini, and xenon.xex. Uh, so just uh, open up your launch ini, the ini that I provided, uh, because the ini is actually, in my opinion, it's the best ini, um, because it's got a few more things, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, and it's got all the info and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so what we've got is you just want to open it up, co uh, configure your uh, your plugins, your own plugins. I start off with xbdm.xex, the Xenon plugin, which is there, the XRPC, the JRPC, uh, RPC, and uh, yeah, RPC. So uh, yeah, uh, you can change whatever you want. You can add GTA menus, whatever. But you've got to have Xenon.xex as plugin two, uh, and XBDM as plugin one. Uh, because that that's just how it needs to be. Xenon can't be plugin one. I don't know about plugin three, four, or five, but you know, uh, whatever. So yeah, and also I do know that X, uh, XRPC, JRPC, and RPC sort of do the same things. I just have them there for specific tools and specific things. Uh, but yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you know change it if you want to change XRPC to GTA menu or whatever you know you do that. But that's fine. So once you got that sorted. Uh, you just want to open up Neighborhood. Uh, if you don't use Neighborhood, I 100% recommend it. If you don't know how to set up Neighborhood, a uh, Neighborhood, you can just look it up. You know, it's really easy to find uh, how to set up Xbox 360 Neighborhood or XDK. I, I did make a video on it, uh, but I feel like you guys will probably have it all set up already. Uh, but yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, put the xenon.xex in the root of the hard drive mine's already there but you know you're gonna do that anyway you're gonna put the launch ini there also and you're gonna put the hv.bin there also so from there you're just gonna turn off your xbox i've just turned off mine uh, i'm gonna reboot it i mean i already had all the stuff there but i just do it for the purpose of the video um but yeah we'll have the hall patch capture up so you guys can see what's going on and we'll move this over here there we go so uh, once it's back, you know, it's turning on again. Actually, I might move this over here. Uh, you know, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So, uh, yeah. So now it's coming back on. Uh, it's not fully on yet. Now it's on. All right, now we're on dashboard. So now what you want to do is you want to get your KV. So you want to rename the KV to KV.bin. I don't need the CPU key dot bin or dot text. You just need the KV.bin. And you just want to put that on the root of the hard drive also. Now, mine will be there. There. Uh, now, you reboot the console again. Uh, by turning it off, you know, from the power button. If anyone didn't know what I meant by that. You could, you could also do a cold reboot from Neighborhood if you wanted to. Uh, but, you know, you don't need to. You can do whatever. Turn it off. Make sure it turns off. So, uh, I'll make this big screen. It does glitch really quickly. There you go. So, what it does is, it, go, it starts to boot. Then it resets itself. And that's just the KV, like, actually launching. That's like, um, the KV actually activating itself. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll tell you when it's coming back on. And it's taking a long time to launch, but uh, it will launch pretty soon. There you go, it's coming on now. As you can see now, uh, let me turn my controller on. Here we go. And there you go. So it says, I'm Moxus signed in, which is my offline gamer tag. 
uh, and it says connect to Xbox Live, you know, so initially people would think, you know, my console was banned or the KV wasn't legit or whatever, uh, to make it so it is fully activated, you just want to go to uh, system, then uh, system, I think it's maybe it's not settings, system network, and then you just want to test connection, a uh, test Xbox Live connection, yes. And then it will go network, then internet, then Xbox Live connected. Uh, my internet isn't the best, so it won't go too quickly. But me talking over the top should uh, have, you know, uh, it should go quick-ish compared to me talking. But yeah, so network, internet, and then Xbox Live should go very soon. And then you also get the X notifier as well. Uh, there you go. X notify and then the Xbox Live connected, uh, live status, service up, Xbox stores up, accounts up. Matchmaking is service alert. I don't, I think that means it's down. Uh, I'm not sure though. But yeah, so we're connected and then when we come off of that, you'll see the normal dashboard when you're connected to Xbox Live uh, and stuff. And then you can sign into gamer tags and whatever else. You know, JTAG online basically. Uh, so yeah, um... Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So the download for those files that I'll just show you really quickly one more time. Uh, not the KV will be in the description. Uh, the HV dot in the launch dot ini, and the xenon dot xcx. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys, Moxification, and uh, leave a like to share the video around and stuff and whatever. And if you enjoyed and if it helped you. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks guys, Moxification, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, goodbye.